Dear partner, welcome to Snapdeal Do It Yourself video series. In this video, we will learn how to remove image background using Adobe Photoshop. Adobe Photoshop is a software which is widely used to edit image background, enhance color and other attributes to make the image appropriate for use. Adobe Photoshop CC 2015 is the latest version of this software. You can also use earlier versions of Photoshop to change the image background. Some of the earlier versions are Adobe Photoshop CS, CS2 to CS6. The product image resolution should be at least 300 dpi or dots per inch. To change the image background to white using Adobe Photoshop, open the image by clicking on the file menu and selecting open option from the drop down menu. From the window that appears on the screen, browse and select and open the desired image file that you want to change the background of. Before you start selecting the object in the image, check that the horizontal and vertical rulers are on. If not, then go to the view menu and click on the ruler option. This will set the rulers on if they are not. Rulers help you set a path around the object. To set the path, place your pointer on the ruler and drag towards the image and drop the path on the image edge. Now, click on the pen tool from the left side toolbar which is the first option of the submit. Photoshop includes a few versions of the pen tool. The pen tool creates precise paths that can be manipulated using anchor points. The freeform pen tool allows the user to draw paths freehand around the object in the image. After selecting the pen tool, start selecting the object in the image. If the anchor size increases, we can reduce it by using the convert point tool from the pen tool submenu. Use delete anchor point tool to remove the extra pointer or selection. If you want to start selecting again after using delete anchor point tool, use the pen tool from the pen tool submenu. After completing the selection process, go to the window menu on the menu bar and select path option. Double click on work path option on the right side and you will see save path pop up box appearing on the screen. Enter a name of the path in the text box and click OK. This will save the path so that the action taken which was selecting the object in the image in this case is saved and new actions are not performed on it. Now right click on the image and from the pop-up menu select make selection option. On doing this another pop-up appears. From this pop-up change feather radius to 0.5 and click OK. On clicking OK the product in the image gets selected. Once the object in the image gets selected deselect the object by going to select menu and clicking on deselect option. Now click reselect from the select menu to select the object again. Now select inverse option from the select menu. From the color fill menu on the left hand side select paint bucket tool. After selecting the paint bucket tool double click on the background color from left side toolbar. Move the color picker to the top left hand corner to select white color. Change RGB values to 255 if not the same. Change the values of the field hash to 6 times F and click OK. Now click on the background area. This will change the background color to white. You can change the background color through your keyboard by using the shortcut Alt plus Backspace. Once the background color has been changed to white, deselect the object by going to Select menu and clicking on Deselect option. Zoom the image and check the edges thoroughly to make sure that nothing in the background remains unchanged.
When you are sure that background has been changed to white, save the image for further use as a JPG file by going to File menu and clicking on Save As option. This brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching.